What's up guys? Welcome to this very fun episode of um, Pocket Topics. We haven't done one of these in a while and uh, I really wanted to, after looking at a guy named Gamer from Mars, an uh, excellent YouTuber, um, he talked about bad practices with DLC and I remember I think it was back in 2008 when I moved out and I bought an Xbox 360 that DLC was kind of a big deal uh, because it extended a lot of games. But also, of, of, of course, I think the obvious one being that it came later that um, I think a few years after Fallout 3 were come with DLC that were very substantial. Uh, that goes with Borderlands 2 that were a different substantial amount of DLC that you kind of care for. And then we have like the bad practice DLC that you are included in the game but you have to buy it off. Um, that is bad practice. That's bad. <laughs> and um, basically... Uh, what I want to talk about was when I talked about DLC, I wanted to reach out on Pokemon and DLC. Obviously, we don't have that right now, and um, it seems like this is not going to happen this generation, but we could be wrong. I mean, people are still talking about the Battle Mansion and whatnot, and what if they actually created that for uh, Ruby and Sapphire? You know, we can only hope. Um, for me, DLC, I, I think we got a taste of that in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, what it could mean. And um, for everybody who finished the Elite Four, you know exactly what I mean when it comes to the Delta episode. The Delta episode introduced a new story, one, two new characters, I guess. A uh, very bad story, to be honest, at least for me. And um, yeah, of course, in the end of that adventure, you got to, uh, you got one or two Pokemons and uh, a Mega Form for one of them, and um, they were both legendaries. And I can really see that being something in the future for DLC when it comes to Pokemon. Like an extended adventure that ends up with you catching the defining Pokemon of that DLC. What I wanted to try to talk about is that I really, really would see more or something like that in the future. Uh, I truly believe that um, with the lore and whatnot that comes from Pokemon, of course, the same amount of time they actually put into it. That they can actually build a very good DLC for almost every game. I feel that the legendaries are just being, um, I shouldn't say copy pasted, but take for example, how does it feel to catch Lugia from a black hole from Hoopa? Uh, you, don't, you don't get the legendary vibe, right? And that's something that can have, you know, it's not, it doesn't bother me. It's more that I know there's more to this story, and that goes with like every legendary. They have a, a great story arc that they can kind of lure out and bridge out on. It definitely is definitely defined in different ways in every game. But they could kind of use that kind of lore to get a chance to um, catch more Pokemon. And I have a cat who is true annoying here. Hello, boy. <laughs> no. Don't get to bother with daddy's house. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Oh, he looks so pissed. Oh, he looks so pissed. <laughs> Sorry guys. Anyway, what I want to reach out on about that is that um, I really believe that Pokemon should be more... If they introduce DLC, then they should you know, work with that kind of DLC. I wouldn't want to see DLC that is, you know, the bad practice DLC that is, oh, you get this item, or you get this, or this, or you, get, you, get, you get the flying gem. Like, that is DLC. It is an item package for Pokemon. That's bad. Um, hopefully that isn't something that they don't want to go to introduce, but more a small adventure with a little epic substance. I would actually like more challenging substance. And what I mean by that is not it's a hassle to catch the oxes. I don't care for that, but rather that the trainers that are involved should actually match up your levels, even maybe limited your Pokemon you can use. Like, take for granted that flying battles next and Y, you could only use flying Pokemon. It was annoying, yes, but something like that should be included. I really believe that part of the challenge is to construct a team with the Pokemon you have to the purpose of their, what they have. And I, I really tried to stretch that one out in a good fashion, but I think you guys get what I mean. Often we are very overpowered in Pokemon, and it's, it's not an issue. It's kind of that... The it gets kind of stale, like without the challenge, you're just walking to places and it doesn't feel that good. You don't feel that uh, your development with your Pokemon are making a difference. And having a challenge in adventure in combination, of course, with DLC that would end up with a Pokemon battle that might be grand or whatnot. And I really want to see something like, like that. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to get that. I really believe that 
um, DLC would be a great thing to extend the life of Pokemon. And also, I think it would force people to um, catch legendaries and or different Pokemon. And even better is that these DLC would include uh, exclusive moves for the Pokemon that I feel, you know, we can't gen or we can power save. Obviously, we can power save it, I guess. But I think you get what I'm trying to say here, that they, these Pokemon will get unique. You, you will feel that you get your money's worth. And like I said, extending the gameplay, I really believe a lot of people would have paid this, like, what could it be, five to ten dollars? Five dollars is fine. Ten dollars is a bit on expensive side, but I can see why they would do that. Um, Fifteen would be outrageous and uh, would definitely, that would be like the first and last DLC from Nintendo, obviously. But something like that. And I want to hear your thoughts about it. Like I said, I, I'm recently just. Uh, touch that subject and I really believe DLC in Pokemon would be very very interesting to see and I hope you guys feel the same about it So yeah, just use the comment section below to kind of tell me what you guys think and yeah, be Be inventive be as inventive as you can get it really the sky is the limit when it comes to this Haha <laughs> fun, but um, yeah, I mean DLC are made for two things either to make money to the company or make sure that the people that bought the product is getting the money's worth out of it. And uh, if we can combine those two, then we know we got a very healthy relationship with our um, with Game Freak, obviously, was what I was getting at. And if they do a bad practice, then that's gonna, of course, damage the brand itself. Um, hopefully, you know, we see something like this in the future. And like I said, leave your comments here what you guys think. I really wanna read them and see what you guys are thinking about it. And uh, did you ever think about that during the Delta episode that this could be a possible DLC if uh, if it were moved ahead like three or four years um, and this was like something that they just tried out? So anyway, guys, thank you for watching as always, of course, and remember, sky's limit, right? Take care, guys. Bye.